Chapter 3, Section 3 Powerful Empires in India Chandra Gupta Maurya was the first to form an Indian empire in the north. His son and grandson later pushed south. He maintained order through a well-organized bureaucracy. Chandra Gupta's rule was effective but harsh. Fearful of his many enemies, Chandra Gupta had specially trained women warriors guard his palace. His grandson, Osoka, was the most honored Maurya emperor. He fought a long bloody war to conquer the Deccan region of Kalinga. Then horrified at the slaughter, more than 100,000 people were said to have died. Osaka turned his back on further conquest. He converted to Buddhism, rejected violence, and resolved to rule by moral example. After Osaka's death, Maurya power declined. During its long history, India has seldom remained united for long. Although many kingdoms flourished in the south, the most powerful Indian states arose in the north. About 500 years after the Mauryas, the Gupta dynasty again united much of India. Under the Guptas, India enjoyed a golden age, or period of great cultural achievement. Indians make advances in learning. Under Gupta rule, Hindu and Buddhist senders offered more classes beyond religion and philosophy. Buddhist monasteries offered mathematics, medicine, physics, languages, literature, and other subjects. Indian advances in mathematics had a wide impact on the rest of the world. Gupta mathematicians devised the system of writing numbers that we use today. However, these numerals are now called Arabic numerals because Arabs carried them from India to the Middle East and Europe. Indian mathematicians also originated the concept of zero and developed the decimal system of numbers based on ten digits, which we still use today. Eventually, Gupta India declined under the pressure of weak rulers, civil war, and foreign invaders. From Central Asia came the White Huns, a nomadic people who overran the weakened Gupta Empire, destroying its cities and trade. India would see no other great empire like those of the Mauras or Guptas for almost 1,000 years.